Hey, beautiful souls. I hope your day is going well. Welcome back to my channel. For your new souls that's chiming in, welcome to the channel. And I'm telling you, I am excited about today, y'all. Cherie here from Soul Deep Design, and I have another tutorial for you today. Listen, we already done resin before, right? But this is going to be another resin tutorial, and I'm so excited about the mold that we are going to be using today. So without further ado, let me show you what we are going to be completing all right this is what we're going to be completing y'all look at that yes we are going to be doing a tray and the handles i had made pre-made before i made the tray um for the sake of time for this tutorial but if that's something that you want to um for me to uh, complete the tutorial, please comment below, let me know, and I will sure enough do that tutorial because that's fast uh, as well, okay? And so um, if y'all seen any of my videos before, which is uh, with my resin uh, videos, and the, the folks that have not, I will make sure I will link them up top somewhere or at the end of the video, but you can reference uh, some of the basics. But listen, the only supplies you are going to need, you're going to need your gloves, you're going to need your resin. Uh, I use gold mica powder. I use black mica powder. Uh, I use gold flakes. And um, I think it was 18 karat gold. That's the gold flakes and glitter. And look, that's all you need. And of course, your mold. So without further ado, let's get to this tutorial. All right, beautiful souls. I am going to uh, share with you the items I use for this project. Um, uh, I have my resin. Uh, I have my gold flakes. They're 14 karat flakes. I have, uh, I believe that is, yes, my uh, black mica powder. I uh, purchased that at uh, Hobby Lobby. And this is um, Pearl X, I believe. And I have my May Springs, which I purchased from Amazon. And I love that mica powder, y'all. You'll definitely need to pick it up. Just have some gold glitter. I believe that is Martha Stewart. Love Martha Stewart. And I have some uh, alcohol ink. Um, and that is also uh, going to be gold. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it yet. And um, like I said, I have my resin. Uh, I have my tweezers. Of course, I have my brush to help me move along uh, the um, resin um, when needed. And... I also have my handles. I prepared these handles before I um, that I want to complete the tray because I need these handles before the tray dries. So um, these are the handles. And if you would like me to complete this in a tutorial, please comment below and I will be more than happy to do that. All right. So let's move this stuff out of the way. Um, so we can prepare for our mold. And I'm just cleaning that table off. I already have my resin um, prepared. And cups. Uh, I like to put my uh, different items that I'm going to be using in different cups instead of just like kind of clunking it up in one. And there are my gold flakes, my glitter, my black mica powder, my gold mica powder. And I think I have a, a shimmer of gray in there or silver um, that I am um, going to be using as well. And so now I am going to show you um what modes we're going to be using. I am going to be using uh, the Afro Woman. Um, you may have seen these, uh, some of these tutorials online, um, but I am going to be doing this y'all and I am so excited. And I think I want to do the coasters as well. Um, at first I was just going to do her head, but I want to do the coasters as well. Um, and so right now I am just going to mix my uh, 
epoxy resin to get it ready. And y'all remember, I do have videos uh, that I will definitely link up top um, where you can revert back to as to how, um, you know, I mixed and all that. Um, Cause you want to make sure yet again, you mix this well, y'all. Um, it starts out cloudy, then it uh, becomes clear. Um, you may still see a little bubbles in there, but that's okay. But the most important part is that you mix it um, at least from three to five minutes. I know that sounds like a lot, but um, that is uh, going to be uh, needed in order to make sure that your epoxy is mixed correctly. Because if it is not mixed correctly, y'all, um, the issue is going to be your mold is not going um, to adhere um, and it'll be unbalanced and it will be messy and sticky. It will not harden, y'all. So just make sure that y'all really, really mix that up. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, go off camera and mix it up um, for the sake of time. Um, and so when after I do that, I will uh, be back after it's all mixed up. All right. All right, now I have mixed my resin. I have placed it in the different cups um, and I'm just making sure I'm just mixing this really, really good. This is my black mica powder because you definitely want to make sure that your powder is really fused into your resin, y'all. Y'all don't want any puffs. Um, and so um, what I'm doing now, and I'm just not even thinking about it. I'm just, you know, pouring um, some resin in, uh, to the molds. And because you remember, you have a time um, limit in regards to the resin. Um, because, um, you know, it cures. So I'm just trying to get that resin around just to get it in that mold. And that's what I am doing. And I am just taking my time um, and uh, making sure that all of my uh, edges is filled you want to make sure that your edges are filled and um, I'll just go ahead and um, I'm pouring some clear resin now and now I'm going to just play around with a um, little black and I'm just going to pour some more black in there as well I love um, you know doing um, you know, different techniques. Um, that's why I like to separate my resin versus like clunking it up. You get it so much of a better effect and look. And so um, right now I'm just staring up my uh, gold flakes and some of them are kind of thick, guys. So make sure to, um, when you mix these up that um, you break them apart before you mix them in your uh, resin uh, because those big pieces... Um, can cause um, um, you a little challenges sometimes, and especially um, if they're sticking up um, above the resin. You don't want to do all that sanding if you don't have to. You want to make sure everything is up under that resin so it could be really nice and uh, smooth. And so I'm just taking it, because um, um, I did mix it with the resin, just taking it, going around, um, playing around, just putting it in different uh, spaces still by checking to make sure that I get those uh, edges. And so when we start um, adding other items, you know, it is spread around and um, the colors and things are start fusing together and it is going to be so beautiful, y'all. I'm telling you, just beautiful, just beautiful, so beautiful. And so now I'm just mixing up my um, gold mica powder. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm just, um, again, just like I, I did before, just pouring it in there, pouring it in each one. I'm not really worried about um, 
you know, playing around, moving it around right now. I just want it in those modes. Um, and right now I'm just taking out those big pieces of gold flakes, which can cause some problems for us. And we do not want that. So, yes, I am just going and um, just placing it in different areas. I'm not even thinking about it, y'all. So don't think too hard. Just just put it down. Um, you don't have to try to be perfect. Um, just trying to move as fast as I can. I'm going to now take, make sure it's, well, whatever medium you're using or mica powder, make sure it's mixed up real good, y'all. All right. And I'm just pouring a little more around there. That's actually uh, some of the glitter that I mixed in um, by itself. And make sure you have some wipes around, too, so you can wipe your hands um, if need be. Because um, I should have my gloves on, and I do not. Please make sure that you wear gloves, y'all. All right? I just poured some alcohol ink in there, which is the gold. Just did a couple dots um, of that. I didn't want too much because I didn't want it to be overpowering. And so uh, now I'm just staring up that's with the little silver um, just to give it a touch because I actually also um, placed that color into my handles. So just trying to be um, consistent throughout the whole set. And like I said, you don't have to put um, a lot in. You can actually just put what you want, you know, just start um, trying to figure out um, now you know how you like it and um, um once you start moving it around um the most important thing is like i said just make sure that you place all of your resin around the whole parameters of your um mode because you don't want to have your mode <laughs> And then, um, wow, that's another big piece. You don't want to, um, you know, um, have your uh, mold, you know, halfway filled. Um, so you want to make sure, especially, especially, y'all, like I said, the parameter. I can't stress that enough. So, you know, her mouth, her eyes, all of that good stuff. And now I'm just making sure I'm just taking all of that, um, gold leaf powder out i mean i'm sorry flakes out and now what i'm doing i'm just going around it playing around um, because you must remember also um, once these colors start settling in it's going to have a whole totally different look y'all it's going to be so so beautiful so i'm just going to go ahead and um Finish up um, with the other colors that I have left. Pouring some more black in there. Making sure it's even. And then now I'll start moving some things around. because I'm almost, uh, my mold is almost uh, filled. And I don't want it to get too hard on me, so I'm trying to move as fast as I can. <laughs> and um, you don't have to do all three of these at the same time. You can do one at a time.
So I am going to finish this up. I'm going to hit fast forward, guys. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit overnight. All right, beautiful souls, we are back. Listen, I know I told y'all that we were going to wait until the morning to demode, but when I say this piece is so beautiful, it's been a few hours. You see, it's a little uh, nighttime now, you know, it's getting dark. So it's been there probably sitting maybe about maybe six or seven hours. All right. And just came to check it. And I'm telling you, y'all, it is ready to demode. And so I'm gonna still let it sit, um, you know, for a couple of days because I want to make sure that it, it cures nicely. Um, so whoever purchased this, you know, they would have a, a nice piece, nice and cured, um, not bending in any um, type of way. Um, but without further ado, y'all, let's demode this together. It is so beautiful. So let's demote it together and see what it looked like out of the mold. I'm gonna bring you down here. All right. Okay. Oh, man. When I say, when I say, I'm trying to get it for you can see. I hope it's light enough, but not too dark. All right. So let's go. Let's demote this. Make sure that you take your time because um, it could still be like kind of um, not hard to get out, but I mean, it could be. Um, you might have some missing spots that maybe not have cured yet, so try to keep your hands off of it. Um, I didn't sh uh, show you um, the um, coasters that we were uh, going to make, but yes, these are some coasters I wanted to go ahead and make with um, the piece with the tray. And I'm glad I did. And look at that, y'all. That is the front end. Check this out. That is... Um, the piece that was actually laying inside of the mold. So you can actually use either side of this uh, lady, okay? And so let's demold the other one. Same thing. We taking, oh, we taking our time. Oh, look at that, y'all. Is that beautiful or what? Is that beautiful or what? Look at that, you can, little transparency. Let's turn it over. Look at that. You can use either side, so beautiful. And you can do this, I mean, you can do so much. I mean, you could have put a necklace on her. You could have put uh, an earring on her, you know? You could have separated a color of her hair. I mean, it's so much that you can do with these. So let's go and do the big one. We're gonna turn that one this way. All right, so let's go, y'all. And um, like I said before, with the handles, I made the handles before I made the mold because I wanted the handles completed um, before the mold because I didn't want to screw. Um, I just wanted to put them down there and let it be done, y'all. And so that's why I um, made them before. Oh, this is so beautiful. Again, um, take your time. Ooh, demoting, especially around like her her areas of her face where her lips and her um, eyelashes are. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful, y'all. Listen, look, look at this, y'all. Just look at that. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? I just wish y'all can. I, I'm hoping that y'all can see how beautiful this is. And it's the same thing. Look at the back. Look at that. And so even if you want to use it as your tray, you can definitely do that. But check this out. Say if you wanted to use it as a riser or you just want to change it. You know, you want to change out. Guess what? Because of the handles, it's sturdy. You can turn it this way and you can do it this way, y'all. Look at that. 
So either way, it looks nice. It's still smooth on the bottom. You know, I'm going to do some polishing and, and things like that to polish it up, but uh, to buff it or whatever. But look at that, y'all. That is just so beautiful. So you can really do so much. Uh, like I said, it's going to be used as a vanity. Um, you know, you can put your little wine glasses on, put your little wine up here and, you know, your little wine glasses. You know, you could do so much. Um, it's really, you know, what your preference is. But let me turn this around for you can really see how beautiful, 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 beautiful that that is. Let's turn that. So, y'all, this ends our tutorial. And I just want to say thank you yet again for taking time out to tune in to my channel. Um, and if you find this content, you know, at your pleasure, could you please just go ahead and hit that like button? If you not, if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you in the soul fam. And um, until we meet again, y'all, we're going to be doing a um, a lot more of the resin and different molds and things like that with the soul twist. Um, so make sure you have your notification um, bells on. And until the next time we meet y'all, I want y'all to challenge yourself. I know a lot of times people are uh, afraid to use resin or they may have used resin and, you know, had a failed project. Hey, so did I, you know, when I started out with resin, I had a lot of mess ups and mishaps, but you got to keep on doing it. You got to keep on practicing. And um, I'm telling you, you will get better. All right. And so to the next time we meet, peace.